write the equation of a line that contains a given point. It is perpendicular to a line. Remember, when a line is perpendicular, you're going to take your slope, let's say it's y over x, and you're going to change it to negative x over y, aren't you? So you're going to take the opposite reciprocal of your slope when it's perpendicular. Okay, so we have a line right here. We got to find the slope, and we got to write through this point and write it in standard form. Making it standard is the toughest because you got to get rid of the fraction. So let's take this equation, 2x plus 3y equals 18. We got to find the slope, so let's put it in slope intercept form. Move the 2x over. And now then I'm going to divide by the 3. So y equals negative 2 over 3x plus 6. My slope is negative 2 over 3, right? So my slope is negative 2 over 3. I'm going to change that, make it perpendicular, and I'm going to get 3 over 2, aren't I? So I'm going to flip the slope and switch the sign, right? So we're going to write down y minus 5 equals 3 over 2x, or 3 over 2 parentheses, x plus 8, right? So the y and the x change signs when you plug them into point slope. Distribute the 3 over 2, y minus 5 equals 3 over 2x plus 3 times 8 is 24 divided by 2 is 12. I got a fraction. I got to get rid of it. So multiply everything by 2. 2y minus 10 equals 3x plus 24. My x goes to my left and my 24 goes to my right. So I'm going to get negative 3x plus 2y equals 24 plus 10 is 34. And then I'm going to switch all the signs. So 3x minus 2y equals negative 34. That's going to be my standard form. Yeah. Okay, number 17. A line is perpendicular to the line y equal negative 3 over 4x plus 5 and goes to this point. This is my x and my y. Here's my slope. So I'm going to start with negative 3 over 4, and I need to make it perpendicular, don't I? So I'm going to flip the slope and switch the sign. So that's my new slope. And I know the point. So I'm going to plug it in point form, and we want slope intercept form, don't we? So y, my, uh, y is 1. So y minus 1 equals 4 over 3, parentheses, x. And then this is going to be minus 6. Now then I'm going to distribute my 4 over 3. So y minus 1 equals 4 over 3x. A positive times a negative is a negative. 4 times 6 is 24. 24 divided by 3 is 8. And now then I need to move the 1 over because I want it in slope intercept form. So y equals 4 over 3x. The opposite of minus 1 is a plus 1. And I'm going to get negative 7. That's the answer. Wow. Okay, it says write the equation of the line. It doesn't say in what form. So let's use point slope. That's the easiest. Okay, so the line is perpendicular to the y line y equal 5. Y equal 5, if I were to draw my x, y axis, y equal 5 would look like this, right? If it's perpendicular to it, it's going to go up and down, isn't it? So this is my x, this is my y. It's going to cross the x-axis at negative 2. So the answer is x equal negative 2. Those are kind of tricky. Make sure you draw the line y equal 5, and we want it perpendicular, so it's going to go up and down. If it goes up and down, it'll cross the x-axis. It won't cross the y, so the answer will be x equal negative 2.